Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the character creator connector for Omniverse. Now, this thing came out yesterday, and it's actually pretty fun to play around with. If you don't know what Omniverse is, it's pretty much NVIDIA's new platform where you can collaborate with people. It's a pretty insane software, and I think people are really going to love this whenever, you know, they start using it. To get this going, you are going to need Character Creator 3, the most recent version, so make sure you download that. Additionally, you are going to need the Pipeline version as well, so install both of those and just to install the character creator 3 just go to the exchange right here and go to connectors in the omniverse uh, launcher and you just have to download this right here now once this is installed go ahead and open up character creator 3.41 okay so what i have right here is, is a typical standard character from character creator 3.41 i didn't do too much here and I did, however, have some issues importing some clothes. So whenever you're crashing when exporting from here, just try on different clothes and so on and so forth and see if you can export it to Omniverse. From right here, all we have to do is go to Plugins, Omniverse, and Export USD. Now, this is Pixar's Universal Standard distribution no, i'm just joking so Omniverse uses this file format. It's not US dollars. So go ahead and export that. If you want some motion, you can also drag and drop some motion here. And as you all know, I lost my file. So I only have the standard motions that it comes with. So I'm going to go right here. And let's go with female and go with this await. Right click find file. It's going to open up the folder here. Let's go back to the Omniverse export. And I'm going to grab that folder here for the female. And then drag and drop just an animation here and then export. Let's go back to the Omniverse launcher here. If you go to the library. So if you want to download some sample projects, you can go to collaboration and set up your local disks and go ahead and turn that on so you can get this NVIDIA folder, which we're going to access inside the actual Omniverse platform. Let's go back to the exchange. Let's go to apps. And if you go to Omniverse create, this is what we're going to be using. And like I said before, think of this as a platform for people to collaborate in. Pretty much you can have multiple people in there, pretty much moving stuff in, animating stuff, lighting stuff, doing set design. It's, it's pretty crazy stuff. So let me launch this here. I'm going to maximize this here, and this is the default uh, folder. And like I said, if you set up the collaboration, you can actually access that free NVIDIA software samples if i go right here you can have some astronauts flight marbles old attic let's open old attic because i really like this setting here okay as you can see it's going to load the shaders here it looks pretty cool uh bottom right corner you can see the progress bar so 33 37 40 percent now it looks like the take on me uh music video right here looks pretty cool actually all right, in the top left corner, you're going to see some couple options there. You're going to have the real time. If you want the real time stuff, you want white mode. You can have wireframe, and this is cool. Shaded wireframe. This looks really cool. As far as controls go, I think it has similar keyboard controls as Unreal Engine 4. So WASD, uh, ERT to rotate, scale, and uh, move, transform. So that's kind of cool, right? Uh, let's go back to the real-time mode. And really, to import that character from Character Creator 3 that we exported, all you have to do is go to your desktop and look for that file. If I go right here, and I'm going to drag and drop just like that. Lori is in there. It built shaders. And if you want to scale her, like I said, you can do R. And it's going to scale her like that. Now, she comes with lights because I exported the lights. But if you don't want to, you can go to the outliner here on the right side. And you can turn off some lights if you want. You can turn off the light root. There's a key. Turn all this off if you don't want. Like I said, this is pretty cool. I want you to think as Omniverse is a collaboration tool, like I said earlier. So pretty much I can have a cinematographer in here working on the lights, an animator in here working on the animation, a set designer in here working on the set, moving stuff around in real time. That's pretty darn cool because I'm starting to realize like I really can't do it all myself. It's so much harder. Those guys, there's people out there, this is what they do for a living. They light stuff, they set design stuff, they build stuff, so they animate stuff. So the more we can have people collaborate in this platform, the better. And it looks like people are going to make this the standard. If you go to Turbo Squid, they already have Omniverse models uh, capable into being able to import here using the .usd file. And if we go to the props, you're going to see the... Uh, you have the CC base that we have, which is the T-Post. And we also have that animation that we put in there, 
which is the same as this one. So you can import the characters simply by just dragging and dropping. And you can also play the animation by just going here or using space. All right, so lastly, what we're going to do is just show you how to render this. Because you can render this here. If you go to rendering, you can do some render settings. It's going to pop up here in the RTX settings. You can change all this stuff. A lot of ray tracing information here. You can turn on show lights if you want which is cool. You can have all the caustics and reflections, max bounces here as well. You can do that all in real time, which is insanity. You can also have the auto exposure, color correction. This uh, program is massive. And this is not new. They released, I think, the alpha back in December, if I remember correctly. But the new thing is just a character creator connector for the Omniverse. All right, so to render, all you have to do is go here and then movie capture and then this window will open. You can change your frame rate, start, stop, capture every one frame, first frame, resolution. You can do custom. You can do all that stuff. Rendering preset. You have a couple of presets there for path tracing. You have real time as well with RTX. And then the path. And then after that, you can just capture the sequence. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to show you how to import your character creator three characters inside the Omniverse software from NVIDIA. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it.